Hey everyone and welcome back to the Wealthy Brains. Today we're going to be talking about Max Kaiser and his view on Ethereum. Who is Max Kaiser? Timothy Maxwell Max Kaiser was born on January 23, 1960. He is an American broadcaster and filmmaker. He hosts Kaiser Report, a financial program broadcast on RT that features heterodox. He hosts Kaiser Report, a financial program broadcast on RT that features heterodox economics theories. Until November of 2012, Kaiser anchored on The Edge, a program of news and analysis hosted by Iran's Press TV. He hosted the New Year's Eve special, The Kaiser's Business Guide to 2010 for BBC Radio 5 Live. Kaiser presented a season of The Oracle with Max Kaiser on BBC World News. He produced and appeared in the TV series People and Power on the Al Jazeera English Network. Kaiser is the creator, co-founder, and former CEO of HSX Holdings Hollywood Stock Exchange, later sold to Cantor Fitzgerald. Alongside Michael R. Burns, he co-invented the virtual specialist platform on which the Hollywood Stock Exchange operates. The technology allows traders to exchange virtual securities such as movie stocks and star bonds with convertible virtual currency, the Hollywood dollar. In 1998, Digital Coast Reporter recognized Kaiser as one of the Los Angeles top 50 internet executives for his work on this project. What is Ethereum? Launched in 2015, Ethereum is an open source blockchain based decentralized software platform used for its own cryptocurrency, Ether. It enables smart contracts and distributed applications to be built and run without any downtime, fraud, control, or interference from a third party. Ethereum is not just a platform but also a programming language running on a blockchain, helping developers to build and publish distributed applications. Understanding Ethereum The applications run on Ethereum are run on the platform-specific cryptographic token, Ether. During 2014, Ethereum had launched a pre-sale for Ether which had received an overwhelming response. Ether is like a vehicle for moving around on the Ethereum platform and is mostly sought by developers looking to develop and run applications inside Ethereum. Ether is used broadly for two purposes. It is traded as a digital currency exchange like other cryptocurrencies and it is used inside Ethereum to run applications and even to monetize work. In 2016, Ethereum was split into two separate blockchains, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, after a malicious actor stole more than $50 million worth of funds, which had been raised on the DAO, a set of smart contracts originating from Ethereum's software platform. The new Ethereum was a hard fork from the original software intended to protect against further malware attacks. As of September 2019, Ethereum was the second largest virtual currency on the market, behind only Bitcoin. It is much faster to acquire Ether currency than Bitcoin. And there are far more Ether units in circulation than there is Bitcoin. Bitcoin versus Ethereum. What's the difference? Ether, ETH, the cryptocurrency of the Ethereum network is arguably the second most popular digital token after Bitcoin, BTC. Indeed, as the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, comparisons between Ether and BTC are only natural. Ether and Bitcoin are similar in many ways. Each is a digital currency traded via online exchanges and stored in various types of cryptocurrency wallets. Both of these tokens are decentralized, meaning that they are not issued or regulated by a central bank or other authority. Both make use of the distributed ledger technology known as blockchain. However, there are also many crucial distinctions between the two most popular cryptocurrencies by market cap. Below, we'll take a closer look at the similarities and differences between Bitcoin and Ether. Bitcoin Basics Bitcoin was launched in January of 2009. It introduced a novel idea set out in a white paper by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin offers the promise of an online currency that is secured without any central authority, unlike government-issued currencies. There are also no physical bitcoins, only balances associated with a cryptographically secured public ledger. Although bitcoin was not the first attempt at an online currency of this type, it was the most successful in its early efforts. And it has come to be known as the predecessor in some way to virtually all cryptocurrencies. Ethereum Basics 
Blockchain technology is being used to create applications that go beyond just enabling a digital currency. Launched in July of 2015, Ethereum is the largest and most well-established open-ended decentralized software platform. Ethereum enables the deployment of smart contracts and decentralized applications to be built and run without any downtime, fraud, control, or interference from a third party, which we've mentioned earlier. Ethereum comes complete with its own programming language which runs on a blockchain, enabling developers to build and run distributed applications. Key Differences While both the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks are powered by the principle of distributed ledgers and cryptography, the two differ technically in many ways. More importantly though, the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks are different with respect to their overall aims. While Bitcoin was created as an alternative to national currencies and thus aspires to be a medium of exchange and a store of value, Ethereum was intended as a platform to facilitate immutable, programmatic contracts and applications via its own currency. Max Kaiser and his view on Ethereum Popular Bitcoin proponent Max Kaiser has weighed in on the current market conditions. He noted that Bitcoin's hash rate has hit yet another all-time high and that altcoins are fading. According to him, Ethereum is headed back to $90, which would mark a decline of around 46%. Long-term investor and Bitcoin proponent Max Kaiser has said that the altcoin market is dying as players are positioning themselves for BTC's move back up to 85% market dominance. He tweeted, New ATH for hashtag Bitcoin hash rate as alts die, and players position themselves strategically ahead of BTC's move back to 85 dominance. BCH and BSV are particularly vulnerable. Indeed, BTC's hash rate is currently standing at an ATH of more than 83 million THS. Moreover, despite Bitcoin's recent violent decline which saw it lose more than $700 in a day, the cryptocurrency has maintained its market dominance. At the time of this writing, Bitcoin's relative share of the entire market is 69%. The cryptocurrency is trading at around $9,500, marking a very slight increase on the day of about 1%. Kaiser also said that Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV are particularly vulnerable because of Bitcoin's growing dominance and the increase in its hash rate. On another note, Kaiser shared his thoughts on the future of Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap. According to him, its price is headed to $90, which would mark a decrease of about 46%, given that it's currently trading at around $170. As seen on the chart, ETH has lost more than 11% in the last week and more than 18% in the last month. It's safe to say that the cryptocurrency has seen better days. Moreover, it appears that the Ethereum network itself is having challenges as its capacity is upwards of 92% clogged by the circulating Tether, leaving little to no room for additional decentralized applications. This is all for today folks, if you enjoyed the video then leave a like and if you are new then do not forget to subscribe. See you till the next video and thank you for watching.